just me being weird taking a thumbnail. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's video, which is a meal prep Monday video. So excited to be filming this today. I feel like I have not done a true meal prep Monday video in quite some time. Um, and I know that it's like one of my most watched playlists on my channel, the meal prep. Everybody loves seeing how other people prep their meals. So it's 8.30 on a Sunday, which is, I typically like to do my stuff on Sundays because it's a rest day from the gym. I have time to like, you know, mess around, go to the grocery store, do whatever I feel like doing for different meals and whatever. Today, I'm actually gonna kind of keep it pretty simple like as far as meals go and before I leave to go to Target because I do have to get a couple of things for this video I'm gonna start by putting the chicken in the crock pot with a super easy recipe that I literally just like made up off the top of my head so I want to show you guys that to start and then we'll go through some of the groceries and then the meal prep the first thing I'm gonna do is throw my chicken in there I've got um, these two packs of Publix Green Lines chicken tenderloins I just pour a little bit of water over them first. You could use chicken broth if you wanted to. I just don't like all the sodium in chicken broth. Just so that they don't stick to the side, right? And then, um, I think I mentioned this Stubbs barbecue sauce in a previous video, but this is the Stubbs sugar-free honey one. And the macros for this zero fat, two carb, and zero protein for 30 grams. Now, if you wanted to be super duper accurate with the sauce, or even in, in another scenario would be like a marinade or something that you're cooking the chicken in, you could weigh the amount of sauce that you're putting in the crock pot and then figure out how many servings your chicken gives you and then weigh the remaining, subtract it, and then figure out, you know, like how much you're actually eating per serving. I feel like that's a little bit extra because at the end of the day, when I take a serving of this chicken out of the crock pot, it's really not that much sauce on there. So maybe like a teaspoon or something. So what I personally do is I'll just log the chicken plain because I don't log spices or anything. And then I'll just add like one half tablespoon of the Stubbs barbecue sauce. No need to overcomplicate it, but um, so I'm not gonna weigh this. I'm just gonna pour it to coat the chicken. Okay, so it should look like that. I think I usually like to use a little bit of onion powder. Um, I have an applewood smoked barbecue one somewhere. Aha. This one is Omaha Steaks and it's just applewood smoked rub. I really like that one. We'll do a little sea salt. Um, and we'll do a little chili powder. Gonna stir it all up so that the chicken gets coated nicely. This one for I think it's like three hours and it's good to go. All right, so we're gonna start this now before we start any of the other meal prep so that it can be done by the time we're almost done with everything. so many people at Target. Who the hell goes to Target at 9 a.m. on a Sunday? All these people apparently. I'm gonna make some breakfast pizza when I get back for my own breakfast, so I'll share that recipe with you guys. I think I've made that a couple of times in the vlog anyway, but I feel like I'm always trying to revamp it and just make it taste fantastic. So I'll show you guys that. And then I also am going to prep some sweet potato toast, which I'm very excited about, a new food vlogger, um, you know, little trend that I'm doing. A lot of things I'm doing today and I am starting off with Target. So I'm gonna go in, get some stuff, and then once I get home, I'll show you guys everything that I got. Okay. So the basics for what we're making today, not everything, but like Bailey's dog bones. I got nature's own light honey wheat bread. These macros on this bread, even though it is very light, like literally it's a light bread, uh, for two slices, only 19 grams of carbs and five grams of protein, so that's pretty cool. I got some Dave's Killer Bread because everybody on the planet keeps raving about it and I've never tried it, so I wanna see how it is. We're gonna make some burnt broccoli today, um, zucchini noodles, my coffee, 
This is just a ramekin to bake in. Some bananas. And then just two little Ziggy's yogurts. So really not too much today. I just had to get like a couple of extra things. So for the breakfast pizza, this is everything you're gonna need. This is the whole wheat lavish bread from Trader Joe's. I use these chicken and maple breakfast sausages. You can use whatever cheese you like. I just usually have to use fat free. If I want a little bit more melty, I can add some light cheese, but just a little bit. Uh, for the sauce, I'm using Tocitos Chunky Salsa, Egg Beaters, Baby Spinach, some microgreens to top it off, and an avocado to top it off as well. So, you guys have seen me do this pizza thing a million times. I'm not going to talk through it. I'm just going to put every single thing on a square pan and pop it into the oven on broil. That's all you do. Just like a regular pizza, load up your toppings, pop it in the oven, and I just watch it until it starts to get like crispy and good to go. And that's it. We're gonna take that out. Because I already had the oven on broil for my pizza, all I do with my burnt broccoli, and if you haven't seen like the original video, I'll put that up there so you guys can check it out. But this is just like broccoli coated in some butter spray, some salt, pepper, and a little bit of smoked paprika. And I just put it in broil so it gets nice and crispy. So we're gonna start already by just popping that in there. Oh yeah, look at that, gorgeous. I swear I'm getting so good at this food picture thing. Look at that, fantastic. All right, so this is what the broccoli uh, starts to look like when it's pretty much ready. I don't like to get it too burnt, um, so this is good and we're gonna take this out and put this in a Tupperware. Because I just used the oven, I changed it from broil to bake to 400 and it takes like two seconds now that it's already been heated up. And I'm going to take the same baking sheet, I am going to coat it in some butter spray, like the actual pan spray. Uh, and then we're gonna take some sweet potatoes and turn them upright, slice them into toasts, and we're gonna arrange them on the baking sheet and bake them at 400 for like 30 to 35 minutes. So I know earlier I mentioned like, this was a snack that I was testing out. I'll put a picture right here so you guys can see what I was talking about. But these are great to just like keep it in the fridge and then whenever you want them, you just take them out and pop them in the toaster and you're good to go. So, we're gonna start that. This is what the little slices look like. And we're just gonna put them just like this. So these bags are a total cheat. They're just the steam fresh mixed vegetables, but next I'm gonna make one of my uh, just turkey bowls for tomorrow's post-training lunch. And I think I showed you this in a previous video. Um, I usually just take the meats and freeze them into four ounce portions, and that way I just take it out when I'm ready the night before, thaw it out in the freeze, I mean in the refrigerator, and then you just put it on the pan and it takes like half the time and then you also don't have to eat the same thing over and over again. So that is gonna be the next meal that I'm working on, which is going to have jasmine rice, turkey, those vegetable mixes, and I think I'm gonna go with the zucchini on this one. I'm just winging it today. I didn't really have a plan for like which meals I was doing, but so we're gonna put that on the stove after I put them in the microwave, and then we're just gonna store them separately so that throughout the week I can add in those vegetables to other meals that I make. I'm gonna throw in some rice cauliflower as well just for some volume. So while that is cooking, I'm gonna spiral up this zucchini and we're gonna toss that in there as well. Then the rice, then the turkey, then the vegetables. It's gonna be a big bowl. Comes right there, so we're gonna toss that in. I always like to throw this Trader Joe's cowboy caviar salsa on there. I think it is so delicious and it just adds like a little bit of extra texture and flavor. Throwing the jasmine rice in there for 90 seconds to add that to the bowl. Oh, it's also been about 15 minutes since these have been in the oven, so I'm gonna take these out and flip them. Oh. Tomorrow, this, this is 34 grams of protein, 53 carb, and four grams of fat. Look at how much food that just made. 
Look at that. That is so much volume. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in the Tupperware, but this is good to go. All right, so chicken is done. I'm gonna shred this, put the pot on warm. And I took it out, put it in this glass Tupperware, and the sweet potato slices are were done as well. So they're going in this rectangular little thing. And the only thing left to do is chop up these bananas and put them in the freezer. You guys have been seeing my Instagram posts lately of the smoothie bowls. I've been absolutely obsessed with making them post-workout. And the key to making them like really thick and ice cream-like is to have frozen fruit with them. So I always cut up my bananas, weigh them, and then pop them in the freezer. That way when I get home from the gym, I just take out the bags of the freezer and I can throw it right in the blender. It's perfect. That's pretty much it. We have extra vegetables to mix in with either the chicken. Um, I do have another thing of beef that I'm gonna prep, but it just wasn't defrosted yet. These are the um, beef uh, tenderloin tips from Omaha Steaks, but they're still frozen, so I can't make them yet. I will though. And then broccoli. This is going to be Monday's post-workout slash lunch meal, which is the turkey mixed vegetables, zucchini, cauliflower, rice bowl. And I'm going to top this with an avocado since I used half of it and I have another half of the fridge. This is the barbecue shredded chicken, extra jasmine rice, and then the sweet potatoes and the bananas for the smoothies. And we are done in one hour. As I've told you guys before, I don't like to prep for the entire week. This will probably last me like until Wednesday, maybe Thursday, depending on if I try something new throughout the week. Um, but this is great for me because I just don't like to eat the same exact meal over and over again, which is why I portion out everything into different Tupperware so that I can mix and match throughout the week. So that is that. It took me exactly one hour. It is 11 o'clock and I am done for the day. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this meal prep Monday video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. so weird when I do this. Backing up the car and going back down the street. Things you do to get the shot. <laughs>